Okay, so another video because there's so much controversy about Joe Rogan and why didn't he stand up to Mark Zuckerberg when, you know, blah, 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 and he was admitting all the stuff and um, why was he, like, playing up to him and stuff. You know, first of all, I'm a libertarian. I don't really care about either of the major parties. They're both corrupt and terrible. They really are. So, um, but... Um, what people forget, Joe doesn't do his own research. He has a producer and a team that does all that for him. He is not a lawyer. He's not educated. He's a former actor, a former bouncer, a former, like, uh, martial arts, you know, person. He is not a trained person to argue. I mean, he does have a natural ability to sometimes challenge and counter some people and debate, but it's not like he's ever been on a debate team. Um, I have, it's, it's not easy to debate somebody. You really have to prepare and you really have to have like ahead of time, both sides prepared. Like you have to like um, have your side to argue and you have to have the counter side prepared. Like what do you think they're gonna say as their strengths? To counter so I've been on a debate team and it's really not easy it's really not it's not it's not easy to counter somebody like there's lawyers out there that are so shitty that they don't say anything in court have I ever experienced that yep especially in Texas <laughs> so um, it's not a natural skill to debate somebody and be prepared and um, if you are not a natural at it like um, certain personality types like ENTP they love to stir the pot anyway and they love to challenge and argue um, because they like they like to think they like to make you think plus they like to just have their laughs afterwards <laughs> especially if they push your buttons so um, for some personality types it comes natural but um, Joe is a heavy pothead as if he's gonna come in like a lawyer against Mark Zuckerberg and counter him and argue with him. And it's just so, it's silly to think that. So I don't, when when Republicans get really mad about Joe, and now Joe is, is in hot water with um, the New York Post is saying that he said in his podcast um, that people should vote Republican. So I mean, the guy isn't consistent. He's like all over the place. So he, he he likes to make both sides mad. It's just, he probably thinks it's funny. Um, but I think deep down, his real motives is money. The guy likes money. He lives in a nice place in Austin, has a studio in Austin. Austin is not cheap. And um, Austin, Texas, that is. And um, he's making a ton of money for Sirius XM because um, he left... YouTube, he only posts his short videos as an agreement with YouTube. So all of his podcasts are on Sirius, uh, not Sirius XM, why did I say that? Are with, um, what is the thing again? I have it, Spotify. So he's he's on Spotify. I don't know why I said Sirius XM. He doesn't, he's not on Sirius XM. So, um, but anyway, um, I'm guessing he has to have a certain amount of ratings so that he could keep his agreement and keep his money flowing from Spotify. That is the real deal. So everybody getting outraged from the left and from the right, y'all are naive. He just cares about money. It's obvious to me, it's obvious. So I'm amazed that nobody else can see through that. I, I It's obvious. He really, um, I can tell he has some opinions I can tell he's he's kind of at times a centrist and he sees down the middle and other times I could see him pulling to the left as well as the right. Um, so, but he's, in the end, he really doesn't care. He cares about um, money. And if you've seen, um, there was one podcast he did a year or so ago where he talked about that celebs really don't care about politics. He was basically talking about himself. He doesn't talk, he doesn't care about politics. He's not for the left or the right. So you're really naive 
and you're really wasting energy and time on something so stupid. The, again, the guy is a heavy pot smoker. Why are you upset that he believes in left or right or that he's blaming the right and all that stuff? He, the dude doesn't care. He doesn't care. He's just here for the money and, um, you know, for the weed. That's all he cares about. You know, he gets some interesting people. He gets people that open up and talk about different stuff. And that's why he's popular. He's, he's a likable guy. He's charming. And he has an entire, you know, team, which includes a producer and probably a researcher that does all the work for him. And I mean, you'll even watch him on his podcast. He'll say, um, "So and so, pull up, blah blah blah, find it for me." And the guy, the guy is racing to quickly pull up stuff on the spot for Joe. Can you imagine working for Joe and having that stress of trying to? look through the internet quickly because it's not like stuff is always on Google like you can't Google everything and so to quickly look up something on a whim from Joe Rogan that would stress me out <laughs> I would not want to work for that guy um, but yeah it's kind of stupid to believe that he's gonna counter like he's he's had any debating experience or any um, lawyering experience. The guy is just a former actor, entertainer. That's the basics and gist of it. And um, moving on to another podcaster, basically, Russell Crowe. I mean, not Russell Crowe, Russell Brand. I don't know why I called him Russell Crowe. Sorry about that. Um, Russell Brand. So I've been watching, watching, watching um, because when he first came out, all he did was um, talk about tabloids and his annoyance with tabloids and so he constantly talked about tabloids and tabloid stories and hated tabloids and then he um, got some producers to help him to make um, more of an in-depth you know news type of um, podcasts that he does for his YouTube channel and his other channels and so um, he doesn't come up with these stories either. Russell Brand, he is charming, he is quick, and he's very quick-witted, but he is not the one that's doing the research and coming up with any of the stuff that he that he says on his channel. He's not. He's not he's not that smart. The people that are helping him that work for him or volunteer which I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but those are the people that make him look good and smart, and they're the ones that do the actual research on the actual stories. Russell's just a mouthpiece. He is just, you know, talking. That's it. So, um, you know, for you to think that he has any beliefs one way or the other. I mean, he has already said, just like Joe Rogan, that he doesn't really care one way or the other about politics. So if someone says something, believe them don't try to figure out it's really sometimes very simple when you try to figure out somebody like trust me I am somebody with high trauma that observes people and I'm an introvert and I'm uh, that's why um, people get uncomfortable with me I'm usually right so I'll observe them and I'm like blah 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 you know and they'll be like you're like Sherlock you're creepy and I'm like sorry and it's just because I've had a difficult life and so I, I watch and I see patterns and it's pretty simple to me and so those two guys are pretty simple they don't care about politics they're not worth your energy to get worked up about now what does Russell Brand actually believe he is into Hare Krishna he is a into a new age beliefs so he's big heavy into new age big heavy into Hare Krishna that guy is not a Christian he said he believed in Jesus, but there's a lot of people that say they, they believe Jesus existed. It doesn't mean that they're Christian and that their worldview is Christian. And normally I wouldn't care because Russell doesn't affect me. I don't care what he believes to each his own. You know, what I do care about is the mass amount of people that are kind of sheep and believe him and, and follow him and um, believe in that stuff and are getting sucked into that stuff. Um, 
not long ago, like I guess a month or two ago, he posted um, one of his retreat type of things, get togethers, and the picture looked very like, like a cult. And I joked on there in a comment and I was surprised he didn't ban me <laughs> or block me. But I said, you look like a cult leader and that looks like a cult, you know, your cult following. And um, he's become more and more open about his hair Krishna beliefs and that he um, believes in he doesn't say new age but all of the postings and all the stuff that he's into is very new age and so that is his worldview and so um, like I said to each to each their own I also don't like that he believes everybody is an addict because he is a severe addict he he um, severely used um i believe heroin and methamphetamines and so because he struggles with that and has a severe addiction background he thinks everybody is an addict which that's my problem with people that are severe addicts they think everybody they see addict addiction everywhere as a pattern and they think everything and everybody is an addict which is not true that is you that is through your eyes. That's your lens, which is still cloudy. It's not clean and you're still in recovery and probably will be for the rest of your life because that's your issue. Just like um, people with severe mental illness, they see that in everybody. And again, not everybody struggles with mental illness. It's becoming more, um, I would say as uh, education and People being more open about it is becoming more prevalent because of that, but doesn't mean that it's necessarily increased. It's just education has made it more um, available so that people can be properly diagnosed now, and um, they're becoming more open about it. Um, but that doesn't mean every single person has severe mental illness. Um, sometimes you're, if you're going through a hard time, and you have emotions about it, like if you're depressed, like I just lost a job. Am I depressed about it? Yes. Um, am I anxious? Yes. I'm really anxious about getting another job so I could pay my bills. Like I said, I already blew my 401k on my eyes, so no choice. I, I really have to get it together financially very quickly if I want to stay in my apartment <laughs> and not live in my used car. So um, that does not mean severe mental illness. So um, be very careful about those you follow. Like there's, there's people, like I said, they say what they believe in and I don't care. That's fine. Believe what you believe doesn't affect me. But when you're influencing and you're using your, um, your pedestal or whatever as, as a, a marketing tool to attract more and get people into that, that's when it's not good. So, um, I, you know, and he may think that he has good intentions with, um, you know, the teaching people yoga and stuff like that, but he's going further than that. And he is inserting his Hare Krishna and his new age beliefs into that. And so for people that are weak minded and don't have any guidance and don't have something stable spiritually in their life as a grounding um, for them, they're going to get pulled into that so easily. So that's my concern. Um, to each their own until you prey on somebody and use your um, influence to pull other people into it. And he does, you know, he didn't deny it. He didn't block me. He didn't deny it about being a cult leader. And, um, you know, like Jared Leto got a lot of flack um, for looking like a cult leader with his fans on that island with him wearing white and they're all wearing white and him looking like like Jesus <laughs> and he he posted on Twitter that that he and his cult were at the island and it you know it, it's kind of hard to know if he was joking or serious it, I mean it's still kind of kind of strange you know he's a strange guy <laughs> He's talented. I, I love his music um, back in the early 2000s um, with his band. But um, yeah, it, it's kind of 
weird. So just be very careful of people that um, that are very charming because they do, they have that influence ability. They're able to manipulate and it's, it's scary if you don't, if you're not already grounded in something that you, that you already need spiritually, it's easy to suck people in like that, that are looking and searching and hungry and vulnerable. And, you know, so just be careful out there, you know, again, to each their own, but not if you're in a um, vulnerable position. If you're in a vulnerable, vulnerable position, don't search out people that are trying to use their influence, especially if they're charming and manipulative. Don't, don't go into that. Be very careful, steer way clear of that. There's some good people out there and they're, they keep that all that stuff kind of private and on the down low. And um, there's people I really respect that are, you know, celebs like Keanu Reeves, he's amazing. Um, Donald Logue, he's amazing. They're both very giving, loving, um, caring people. They, both of those guys are like top notch. Um, I'm trying to think of who else. Um, golly, um, there's one other guy. Um, I forgot his name, but he was in a lot of movies with um, Tom Hanks. And he is a fantastic guy. He does nothing but um, work and volunteer and put energy into um, veterans. And he is an amazing guy. I wish I could remember his name, but he's... Um, he's a good guy and he's a giver and he does, he, he's a very, you could tell he's like kind of shy and he doesn't like overly, you know, I don't know what you call it, but he's not like, he's not, um, trying to manipulate people. So those three guys are the three that I really, I'm like, man, I wish there was more guys like that. I wish there you know, I wish I could snag a guy like those three. Those three are just amazing. Um, like I said, Keanu Reeves, Donald Logue. If you don't know who Donald Logue what is, he was in um, Grounded for Life sitcom. He was in, um, he's been in a lot of movies. Um, there was one with Mel Gibson. There was one with, um, golly, um, I can't think at, at the top of my head. Um, I'm kind of spacey right now. So the coffee is like... <laughs> wearing out finally because I took the walk and everything so um yeah I, I don't know but anyway you gotta look him up he's a fantastic guy he is just a beautiful man and he's a beautiful his heart matches his outer shell he is beautiful outside and within same with Keanu Reeves and same with the other guy I just can't remember his name um that was in those Tom Hanks movies and he was in um gosh I, I see his face so clearly. It makes me so mad that I forget, I'm spacing on his name. But um, like I said, he does a lot of work for um, veterans. So, And I follow him on my Instagram. So if you're on my Instagram, look at my people that I follow and you'll find him because he's there. So <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching.